welcome to the YouTube channel of Legal Aid Trust. This video is one of the series of educational videos that will be available on this channel under the category General Awareness. Hello friends. In today's video, let us understand about fundamental rights and fundamental duties. Fundamental rights are the constitutionally provided set of basic freedom to the citizens of India. These are present in part 3 of the Indian Constitution between Articles 12 to 35. These are right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational rights, right to constitutional remedies. Now let us understand about fundamental duties. The fundamental duties of citizens were added to the constitution by the 42nd amendment in the year 1976 upon the recommendations of the Swaran Singh committee that was constituted by the government of India. They make the citizens maintain the noble ideas of India's freedom struggle and defense the country to render national service when called on. These are included in Article 51A of the Indian Constitution. Now let us understand the difference between fundamental rights and fundamental duties. Fundamental rights are defined as the basic human rights to be possessed by every citizen of India. These are provided irrespective of the race, place of birth, religion, caste, creed or gender. When we look at fundamental duties, these are moral obligations of the citizens to be paid back as a service to the nation. Fundamental rights are an integral part of the constitution, hence it cannot be taken away. However, fundamental duties can be taken away. Fundamental rights can be suspended during a national emergency, but those rights guaranteed under Article 20 and 21 cannot be suspended at any cost. Article 20 basically prohibits self-incrimination and double jeopardy. Article 21 deals with the right to life and personal liberty. However, there isn't any need for suspension of fundamental duties during the emergency. Fundamental rights are enforceable through courts. It is mentioned in Article 32 that the Supreme Court can enforce fundamental rights. Similarly, the High Courts can also issue writs for the enforcement of fundamental rights as per Article 226 of the Indian Constitution. Fundamental duties are not enforceable through courts. Some fundamental rights are available only to the citizens of India, while some of the fundamental rights are available to foreigners too. However, fundamental duties are provided only to the citizens of India. Fundamental duties are not extended or binding on foreigners. Fundamental rights are political and social in character. Economic rights are not guaranteed. Fundamental duties are political, social and economic in character. Fundamental rights are applicable to individuals and state both. However, obligations of fundamental duties are expected less towards an individual and as a whole towards a nation or society. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day. Hope the information contained in this video was useful to you. We look forward to each one of your support and cooperation in making this initiative a success. For more details about the trust, do visit us at www.legalaidtrust.in. Kindly subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates about various law-related educational videos. Thank you for watching us and have a good day.